it do, baby boo? How you feel? Welcome back to my channel, and if you're new here, hi, welcome to my channel, what's up, my name's Alyssa. We are doing a brand new series right here on my channel called The Bachelor Series. I mean, it's not new, new, but it's new to us, it's new to me. This challenge was actually created by X Urban Sims X. I love her, she's the entire reason I even started a channel, so big ups to her, big props to her, and all of the credit to her. So, without further ado, I'm just gonna go ahead and have us meet our character. Characters. Meet Remy Voss. He just graduated med school and is looking for his true love before he becomes a successful doctor. He's had his heart broken, has broken a few hearts himself, and is ready to settle down with someone to make his half whole. Lily Luster is a single mom who works two jobs to make ends meet for her baby, but still finds enough time to gussy herself up. She's what most people consider a bit of a MILF. Sofia Santiago is an intelligent, beautiful Latina who is red hot. No doubt her beauty will catch Remy's eye, but can her personality keep him coming back for more? Isabel Aguilar is a model from Salvadorada that moved to Del Sol Valley in hopes of getting her lucky break. Will that big break begin with true love? Charlie Sweet is a typical Southern Belle who moved to Del Sol Valley straight out of Brindleton Bay. She loves animals and wants nothing more than a big house filled with a large, loving family. Natasha Darling moved here all the way from the big city of San Maishuno just to shoot her shot for some Remy Vaz. She's a food critic but don't let her job title fool you because she can be just as spicy as the food that she tests. Maya Pham comes from a traditional Japanese background, but she broke away from her family to live a life filled with love and drama in Del Sol Valley. She's a genius, so Remy should feel right at home with someone just as smart as he is. Maggie Elkins is a beautiful comedian. She loves nothing more than telling jokes to a wide audience and laughing herself. That quality in itself makes her very alluring to the menfolk. One bachelor, seven beautiful contestants, but there can only be one winner. Who will succeed at winning the heart of the Bachelor. <laughs> Alright, so we may as well just kind of hop right into the rules. So here are the steps to begin the challenge, which I've already completed, is just so we can get that out of the way. And they're already done up and everything. So I'm so excited for you guys to meet them. Anyways, anyways, so here are the rules. Create your bachelor or bachelorette. We have already done that. Our beautiful Remy Voss is all done up. Create your contestants. We have done all of that too. Pick your pad. I actually have. We stole. <laughs> We evicted the, um, oh my gosh, what is his name? It was that celebrity that came with Del Sol Valley. His kid's name is Orange. Anyways, we, we evicted that family and stole their house, so. <laughs> that's the, that's the pad we're gonna be using for the challenge. Let's begin, but first, the general concept of this challenge, as mentioned previously, is simple. The bachelor or bachelorette is trying to find love in the seven sims currently present. Eliminations will take place every third day or third episode at 3 p.m sharp unless otherwise stated. After the welcome home introductions, the elimination will be simple. Before the elimination, have the bachelor um, have a certain interaction with each single on the given elimination day before you can continue the eliminations. The woman or man with the least compatibility with the bachelor will be forced to leave the house at once on elimination day. Once the sim has left, no further contact is allowed via the bachelor, bachelorette, or remaining contestant. In the event of a tie, check to see which sim has the best relationship with the rest of the sims in the household. Or if filming an LP, right here, post a poll and eliminate said sim before the next part of the challenge. So you guys will be able to help me. Actually, what I do want to do is post polls anyways and just kind of see what you guys are thinking in general as we kind of go along. So we, we may do something of that nature. Building relationships. In order to build relationships, Relationships, you will need to go out on dates. You can do group outings, or if you're really feeling a sim, go on a one-on-one. -on -one. It's up to you how you go about it. Your goal during these dates is to get to know your sims better. No repeat one-on-one -on -one dates with the same sim unless you have given everyone else who remains in the house
household a one-on-one -on -one chance. Seems fair, seems reasonable. In the house, interactions between Sims are allowed as long as they are fair and non-romantic, unless otherwise stated. Sims are free to do as they please. Group dates and outings. The bachelor and contestants can interact with each other only on friendly terms. Contestants can interact with each other. Even getting the other contestants in bad moods can help the other Sims gain the advantage. So don't be afraid to get a little dirty. Sometimes you gotta take what's yours. No forced romantic interactions if it happens anonymously. You must allow it to happen. Can cause jealousy. One on one dates. Try to go on a one on one with each sim if, if possible. If you can't choose, pick the sim with the lowest relationship to the host. Keep the dates fresh. Maybe a stroll in the park, grab a drink at the local nightclub, go for a workout, attend the spa. Do things that your sims enjoy together. A nice camping trip with that special sim you're starting to like, whatever you choose. Kissing is allowed. You can cancel the date once gold level has been reached, but cannot cancel no matter what until then. No woohoo is allowed until two sims remain, but beware, jealousy could ruin your chances. No trying for babies until the challenge is completed. Makes sense. Miscellaneous rules. No outside relationships are allowed. You can have friends chat with outside sims. Once a contestant enters the house, they can only leave upon elimination. Bachelor and bachelorette wants. If your bachelor has thoughts of a sim, be an interaction, or even romantic, excluding woohoo, you are allowed to perform the interaction at any given time, solo date or not. However, this is the only time you can perform such actions. The singles, no matter what they want, are not given this privilege. So these are the day by day things that we're going to be doing. Um, so on the first day, which is this episode, we're just going to say welcome home. We're going to take this to get everyone settled in, put in some game tables, chess tables, bar, or whatever social items you have available to break the ice. Interact with the contestants and vice versa. Keep it friendly. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Tomorrow, or the next episode I suppose, is going to be a group date. And then day three we're going to do spe speed dating. On the fourth episode we're going to do our very first elimination. So I'll keep you guys um, up to date on what we're doing for each episode. We'll just, you know, kind of have, I'll have like it in my intro and my description box what we're gonna do in that particular episode but this is basically what the rules are so that you guys are aware and can call me out if I break some so this is like the only challenge I've ever done where I'm actually going to try to follow these rules just because they are so lenient also when it comes to money she said that money is not a factor so we have like we have like a million dollars or almost um, pretty close to that so anyways you guys let's jump into the game I'm so sick of talking my butt off all right Hey guys, welcome to our mansion. Oh my goodness, this is probably my favorite part of the house, is literally the view. This is, it belonged to, oh my gosh. It's so funny because he's like the most famous celebrity out of Del Sol Valley and I cannot even remember his name for the life of me. Anyways, it's a really, really cloudy and rainy day today. Of course it is. So we can't really see the view down below, but you get the gist. I mean, it is absolutely gorgeous out here. So this is the house. Um, in the back of the house, before we get started, is um, I just want to show you, this is the spot where we're going to be doing our rose ceremony. So when he, you know, when we do the eliminations, we are going to be handing roses to the contestants that actually are still with us. So this is the little spot where we're going to be doing it. I think it's so cute just for, you know, just for show. I just think that it would be adorable with the view in the background. Obviously you can't see right now, of course, because of certain circumstances, but this is really, really pretty if I do say so myself. I want to introduce you to the girls. I mean, we already did have our little introductions and everything, but the girls just arrived at the house and they are waiting for Mr. Remy Voss to make his arrival. He's actually here already, but he is upstairs, I believe. Yes. So this is Remy's room, which is just so incredible. Whoop. I did not mean to do that. <laughs> okay, so but like his room is super cool. It's it's really fancy. He's the only one allowed to go in and out of it um, unless I actually unlock the door for another sim so that they can go and have a little one-on-one -on -one hot dog or we could do a little massage or something along those lines. This is him right here. <laughs> Mr. Remy Voss. He's actually not looking too good. He worked out a, quite a bit so now his muscles are sore, which is kind of unfortunate that he's going to be meeting them all in a very 
uncomfortable mood. But let's go ahead and have him change. Just so you know, I created these intestines, er, intestines? I created these contestants one by one, so some relationships might be a little high. Let me see. I mean, they're all about the same, except for Maggie. We should probably talk to Maggie this um, episode. Just so you know, there's not going to be a whole ton of gameplay just because we're really just trying to get to know the house and the people and uh, you know everything like that so this is not going to be cause for elimination today we're just trying to get used to everything so we're gonna have Remy come on down here we're gonna have him go here and he's gonna go ahead and talk to the girls hello ladies okay <laughs> so we have some weird uh music playing in in the background but we're gonna go ahead and talk to everybody one-on-one -on -one. let's get to know her let's get to know her we're gonna get to know everybody in the household so get to know we are gonna get to know her as well get to know her and also Isabel. So he is actually learning some traits of all of the girls, which actually already is kind of giving him impressions of them. I don't know what Natasha's problem is right now. She's angry. Bleh from being a petty bitch. Ew, what the hell is she so happy about? Her lace front is crooked and those and those base game ass heels are leaning all over his sand my shoe now. Just like her baby father. Oh my god. She must be talking about Lily because she's got the heels she's got the kid like she's the only one you know so she's probably literally oh, talking about oh, no Lily the maid is done whoa the maid looks weird anyways so she must already have a problem with Lily I'm not really oh. sure why she does but let's <laughs> rant and rave at her she's just like already oh, so no. pissed off why she's like what the hell did I do <laughs> we literally have known each other for two minutes and you're already yelling at me Wow <laughs> I mean, that's just what a petty bitch does. All right, you guys, so I want to, while they're kind of talking and getting to know each other, show you around this amazing mansion. I actually renovated the crap out of it. The shell is the same, but pretty much everything else is different. So this is the front room. When you walk right through the doors, you are greeted with this bar area that has the bachelor just branded onto it. So I just thought this was kind of cute to add a little decor to it and also just to kind of brand it as the bachelor so when we move to the right that's where we are in this room and if you keep going there is a separate living room because this place is so freaking huge but this one is going to be used for elimination days and when we actually have to separate the girls so that they can all get their roses without being jealous of each other I'm going to have everybody sitting here and one by one go outside to collect their roses you just go outside through right here Thorn Bailey is the most random time to remember his name, but Thorn Bailey, that's who we evicted. It just came to me out of nowhere. So anyway, there's the rose ceremony right there. <laughs> I am so weird. Okay, so then there's this uh, nice little piano. We've got a game station right there. We've got a beautiful fireplace. It's really, really pretty in here. And then here's the kitchen, which was freshly renovated by, you know, moi. And uh, all we did was just kind of add a little bit of a clean touch to the kitchen. It was more of like a, a black and red kind of theme, but I changed it to like a black and white theme just so it is like a little cleaner I don't know it, it I mean it's not like it was dirty before but this brings off like a clean vibe there's two ovens which is insane there is a uh, an espresso machine there's a lemonade pitcher there's a popcorn machine a microwave and a dishwasher so um, two sinks as well so people should be able to make food whenever they want and also I am probably gonna be hiring a caterer at some points as well just so they can all kind of enjoy dinner together with without having to worry about making it themselves. This is the dining room, which is absolutely gorgeous. I know it's plain, but it is really pretty. I think it's beautiful. I love simple things, because I am a simple thing. I mean, you know, let's just be honest here. If you go through this door, this used to be a bathroom, but uh, if you look through it now, it is, it's a sauna! So they can get their mist on and, you know, enjoy a nice little at home spa area and then the real party starts when we get upstairs so when you go up these oh my gosh I keep doing that <laughs> oh my 
my god, sorry for my stupidity. When you go up the stairs, you go into this little room, and this is just basically the hall to get to other rooms. Off to the right is our bachelor's room, which he has his portrait on top of his bed. Everybody has portraits on top of, on top of their assigned beds, so everyone knows where they're supposed to sleep. There are cameras. If you haven't noticed, there are cameras everywhere in this house so that they can be recorded at all times through different angles. Literally, the staircase has cameras. The gym has a camera. All of the bedrooms have cameras. Like, everything has a freaking camera. And then they've got over here a nice little photo area where they can do interviews and get their picture taken, all sorts of stuff there. And then over here, like I said, is the gym. And then when you go through here, it's there are they're split up into two different bedrooms but each they're all sharing rooms with each other but I did give them full-size beds just to fill out the rooms a little bit because these rooms are ginormous ginormous I did not even know how to furnish these things for the longest time but anyways this is uh, where all the girls are gonna be sleeping well where, where uh, three of the girls are gonna be sleeping and then the girls in the this room have their own bathroom right here and the girls in this bedroom which is my favorite bedroom I even favor this over the bachelor's bedroom. This is um, four of the girls' uh, bedroom where they're going to be sleep sleeping and uh, their view is amazing and their little chair to get ready is just at the epitome of the view. They have their own little walk-in closet right here. Also the other girls do too. They have like a little vanity and stuff in theirs. They just have a closet in theirs though. Everything's a little bit different. So um, this is their room. I just think it's so pretty. It's so pink though. And then they have their own bathroom as well right here so since everyone has their own bathrooms like the bachelor has his right here I decided that we didn't really need a bathroom on the first floor so that's why we made it into a sauna so um, I mean I could make this area into a bathroom if I really wanted to I guess we could do that but I do kind of like the idea of having a wine cellar even if I can't really do anything with it uh, I don't know I still think it's kind of cool Anywho, so that is the house. Let's um, turn autonomous on so that we can actually let them just go ahead and do what they want to do. I'm not here to control them. I'm just here to decide who gets to stay and who gets to leave. So they will probably be getting up now. Yep, Maggie is the first one to get up. She's like, I am so sick of sitting on my butt. So like, when I actually started making these contestants, I had them walk around just a little bit just to test everything out. And Remy was so happy to be the only guy in the house. I have the receipt. Girl, play the receipt. himself amidst all of the girls who were just dancing away and this this room is the most popular room in the house if I do say so myself they love dancing to this old-fashioned stereo record player thing I think it's pretty cool too but uh they they just love dancing to this I'm not really sure what the fuck they're listening to right now but we're probably gonna change the station let's uh change it to Let's go hip hop. I don't know. What is Remy doing? He's just chatting with like everybody. This girl is so unhappy though. Like the petty trait just makes them angry all the time. I'm gonna get rid of that. I'm gonna let her just enjoy the day and, and not try to try to not make enemies right away. You know what I mean? Like this is the first episode. You gotta make a good impression on Remy if you want to stay in this house. So everyone's really just trying to make the best impression that they can on him. Right away we have Isabel going up to him and sitting right behind him. Okay, I thought she was gonna talk to him, but I guess not. I'm not even gonna lie, a lot of these sims I did download off the gallery and just changed like everything about them because it's hard for me to make different looking faces for some reason. For some reason, I'm just really bad at that. I make like the same face every time I make a female sim, so I, I kinda had no choice but to download things off the gallery. But for the next season, um, because there will be another season if this goes well, if I do have more subscribers by the next season, 
season, by the time the next season comes around, I will let you guys submit Sims for the next season. This is just, you know, because I don't really have many subscribers at this point, it just didn't really make sense for to have people submit their Sims when I wouldn't really have much of a choice in the matter because literally nobody would. Anyways, so today is just literally a laid back day, letting everybody kind of get to know each other. And right away we have Natasha just going on the computer and playing games. I'm not really sure, like, why are you here if you're just gonna be on the computer the whole time while everybody else is downstairs talking? I'm not really sure what the deal is with that, but we should probably maybe have Remy kind of go over here and tend the bar. And then we can have some of the girls kind of go over and get drinks from him and just, you know, start talking. Let's order a drink. What drinks should we get? Nothing too crazy. Let's go with a red wine. Von Hunt Estate Val What the fuck? What is your issue, girl? Oh my god. Okay, yeah, go calm yourself down. She's not even mad, though. Like, she's actually happy. I'm not really sure why she was walking around like she was angry, but now she seems pretty confident. We need to get her to come over here and talk to Remy a little bit. Heartfelt compliment or something. Just let him, him know that you are here to become the next bachelor's woman, I guess. That must be the term. I have no idea, okay? But she is here for strictly this guy right here. She wants her some of that Remy. It's kind of funny because my cat's name is Remy, but I don't know. I thought that was a cute name for a guy too, so talk to him a little bit, discuss interests, and then we're gonna also have um, Isabel discuss interests with him as well. All these people should come over here and mingle a little bit. I'm not really sure what everybody is doing. Lily is over here about to read a book. They're all just like all up on this computer. No one wants to freaking talk to Remy. Even Natasha walked away from Remy. Right. Isabel is the only you one kind of sticking around right now and out. talking to him. So Boy, they're just kind of enjoying some conversation. Up. Maybe yeah, order cool. a drink. Order your favorite drink. I don't know what that is, but just go for it. You should order your favorite drink as well. And then let's also have Maya order a drink. She isn't really an alcohol lady, so she's just gonna order water. I feel like when they order their drinks, they might be more inclined to stay and talk to him. Except Isabel just left, so I guess I was lying. Uh, Natasha reached dancing skill level two. Also, it says in the rules that for now we're just keeping most of their traits a secret, so I'm not gonna be going in and showing you what their traits are. We're gonna kind of figure that out along the way with Remy. We're gonna basically be playing as Remy most of the time and just kind of see, you know, what, what happens. I, I'm really, really excited for this. I don't wanna move too much um, as Remy. I don't wanna make too many moves myself. I want the girls to come to me and, you know, try to make the effort. I'm obviously gonna be going to the girls too, but like, I can't be too much of an influence because I would love for any one of these girls to become my wife one day. So I'm not going to play favorites or anything until we get to like three, two or three Sims. And then we're gonna try and get, you know, down to the wire and find our true love. But for right now, while we have seven Sims in the house, we're really just trying to communicate with anyone that will listen honestly talk about the rain to lily um maybe fire up isabel these two are around him so you know we may as well have a little bit of conversation i wanted maya to grab a glass of water but she's where is she going play in the rain are you freaking kidding me natasha is uh, obsessed with this mirror i feel like she's kind of maybe a little bit vain i don't know isabel is leaning forward is she dazed tipsy isabel is feeling slow lightly inebriated. Maybe we should cool it on the alcohol for a little bit. Pretty pumped, but at the same time, like, it feels like these ladies are hardly interested in me right now. Like, they're much more interested in dancing to the radio than talking to me. Let's go ahead and uh, tell Charlie Sweet a funny story. I feel like our relationships are building so fast, though. Brighten Lily's day, I suppose. Let's talk to okay. Natasha a little bit. Let's try to calm her down, make sure that she's feeling okay. Why are you okay. feeling so shitty? Okay, like, do do? Come on, enjoy yourself, girl. You have this whole mansion to wander around and you're feeling petty, you're feeling angry, like, I don't know, get a grip, <laughs> I don't know. Brighten her day, you know, try to make her happy. Heartfelt compliment, 
Um, I really like your hair. I really like your clothes. You know, you really must have come oh from the gosh, city because yeah. you got fashion, girl. You got some fashion. Yeah. Everyone else is just kind of doing their own thing. Like Charlie is watching the fish. Miss Santiago is just over here enjoying some popcorn. Actually, she's finished now. But and like everybody else just dancing. Look at her. Oh my god. <laughs> She's right in front of the camera getting down like Yes, this is how Lily Luster gets down. Everyone is grabbing a piece of really badly burnt popcorn, but I'm not gonna I'm not gonna I'm not gonna say anything, you know. Everyone is probably actually really hungry, so I wonder if anyone would be down to make some food or we could just call a caterer, because that makes sense. Why don't we do that? Hire a service. We actually already have a maid. That's who uh, charged us like fifty some dollars already today. I, why can't we do that? Why can't we do it? We can have a pizza delivery. I thought we could have a caterer. Can we not do that then? I, I guess not. I, I thought, I guess it's just for like, events and stuff, so. Oh well, um, we should have somebody make some food then. Who isn't doing anything right now? What is she doing? She's just being dazed. She should make us some food. Let's serve some dinner. She is very new to cooking, so let's just do a nice, a nice salad. I have the hiccups, like random ones that are just like, it, it's like inverted too. It doesn't even go out. It's weird. It's weird. I'm weird. Welcome to the channel. So we've got Remy over here hanging out with Lily and Maggie, and they're having some nice friendly conversation. Let's have him talk to Maggie a little bit, brighten her day, and then a uh, heartfelt compliment to Lily. He doesn't really have any wants right now yet. It doesn't look like anyone really does. When they start having some wants over above their head, then we're gonna kind of look at those and see what we can do. I guess Remy wanted to go ahead and go on the treadmill so I guess we'll just kind of let him do that it's already 7 25 p.m. I started this early in the morning Wow this uh, kind of went by fast before they go to bed I do want to show you their assigned bed Natasha's already in her bed she's taking a nap which I have poses for Sims if they're taking a nap but like I have so much CC on this on this bed that you can hardly see her she's like half gone but when they take naps they actually lay on their backs which I thought was kind of cool like something different you know this is her bed you can see she's got her portrait over it this is Isabel's bed and then we've got Lily's bed and then we also have Miss Santiago's bed but everyone is kind of really getting tired so what I'm gonna go ahead and do you guys is I am gonna go ahead and leave off right here I really really hope you guys all enjoyed this very first part I really really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your day to watch my videos it seriously means so much to me so from the bottom of my heart thank you and and if you want to become one of my boos, please do not ever hesitate to subscribe. It's that beautiful little red button down below. And I will see you all next time. Bye, love.